Hello, welcome or welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Alethea. I'm Alethea and welcome to my channel. For those of you guys who have subscribed, recently subscribed, welcome to the channel. And I encourage you guys to go tell a friend or two about Cooking with Alethea. I like to create different healthy um, recipes for you guys and for my family to enjoy. So I encourage you guys to, you know, just try some of these recipes. You'll like them and your family will enjoy them too also. So today, since we're in full-blown season of fall, I wanted to make a nice hearty dish for you guys. Um, this will be my first time making it. Um, we'll be making chicken pot pie, homemade chicken pot pie. And I want to show you guys the ingredients that we have for our chicken pot pie. So I'm going to turn the camera around, so just bear with me like always. And I will turn the camera around to show you guys what we have for the ingredients. So here are the ingredients we have for our chicken pot pie. We have heavy whipping cream. I will be using a can of cream of chicken soup. All right, and I already mixed some up here with uh, my um, seasonings. I'll be showing you that in a minute. I have cut up uh, sweet potato in cubes with the skin on. I have uh, some little baby potatoes, the tri-color potatoes that are good for you, the healthy ones, the red, the purple, and the regular color Yukon potatoes cut up, and I went ahead and put some seasoning on top of it, Italian parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of oil, and I mix it together. And I have here our celery, our carrots, mushrooms, onions, and uh, pepper mixture here, orange and red pepper mixture here. So here I have the chicken here that I, I cut up. I used about a pound and a half or close to two pounds of chicken breast and I went ahead and seasoned it. Actually it was in my freezer already seasoned. I took it out, thawed it and fried it in some uh, oil here in my pan. Alright, so since I showed you guys the ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in our pepper mixture, onion and pepper mixture, in the pot of oil here that we have going. All right, that's hot. <laughs> okay, nothing like battle scars in the kitchen. All right, so we have our carrots, our onions, celery, mushrooms in this pan here with a little bit of oil. And I'm going to go ahead and like just saute it a little bit. Not too much because it's all going to go into the oven in the pie shell. So for the pie crust, I'm not using, um, I'm not making my pie crust today. I want to show you guys what I'm using. I'm using the Pillsbury, the ever famous Pillsbury already made pie crust. Okay, so I'm going to be using that for the pie crust. And like I said, this is my first time making chicken pot pie, homemade chicken pot pie. It's very delicious and it's a, a fall and winter favorite because it's a savory comfort food. All right, so I want to show you guys here the gravy base mixture that I'm going to be using for this chicken pot pie, which like I said, is a can of cream of chicken soup here. Okay, any brand will do. And also, I went ahead and I put a little bit of, uh, what I did was, after I poured my uh, cream of chicken soup mixture in my bowl, I filled half a can of heavy cream, half a can of heavy cream, and half a can of milk in that, mixed it up, and then poured it in my uh, base here, my cream of chicken soup base here, all right? And I went ahead and I added some garlic powder, onion powder, I used Italian seasoning, 
a, a dash of red pepper flakes to give it a little pizzazz. Let me put that in there now. I use some rosemary parsley and also several shakes of the poultry seasoning. That's going to go into our base here. So I mix this all together. All right, you can see here how it looks. Mixed it all together. I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see it. All right, so now I'm back here to mixing up my vegetables here. Like I said, we're not going to cook these all the way down. We're just going to let it simmer a little bit, just a few seconds. We're going to let that simmer, and then I'm going to put the chicken, cut up chicken, in that. I might not use all of the uh, cut up chicken here. Like I said, it's about two pounds, one and a half, two pounds of chicken breast that was already seasoned. It was in my freezer. I took it out. I cooked it. I fried it a little bit. And then when it was done, you could still see the steam coming out. I went ahead and cut it up into my hands are clean. I cut them up to, into small pieces here, bite-sized pieces. So we're going to be using either all of it or just about all of it in our mixture today. Now some people I know use uh, for the chicken pot pie, they use a, rot a rotisserie chicken. Um, I know that's good too because rotisserie chickens have their own flavor and season because it's like, you know, it's like, like a grilled taste. So I know that's good too. But I wanted to try something different and some people they boil their chicken. But I wanted to try something different today. I wanted to fry it up a little bit, not too hard. It gave it a nice pretty brown color and I figure that's going to, um, mixed in with the gravy and all that, it's going to really bring out the taste of the meat in our papaya. So I am right now, this is just about ready to add in the chicken here. I want to show you guys. Um, like I said, uh, we're not going to fry or saute that up to like mush because it's going into the oven for a half hour once it's all assembled. So let me show you guys. I'm going to turn it around and show you guys how it's looking. All right, here we go. This is how it's looking here. All right, it looks very good. All those colors is pretty. Colors of the fall. Very pretty. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put you guys back down and turn you around. Okay, here's my pot here. The vegetables, they are sweating. <laughs> and I'm going to add this chicken in here. All right, oh, before I do that, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to put the other vegetables, the sweet potatoes and the potatoes, in with the rest of them. Forgot about them. Which is okay because, like I said, when this is all assembled, it's going into the oven anyway for about a half hour on 425 degrees. And, you know, it'll cook down. That's why I used the little baby potatoes and I cut the uh, sweet potatoes into little baby pieces because it'll cook up better in the oven like that. Now we can add in our chicken. Now, like I said, I might not use all this chicken, which is okay because it will not go to waste here in this house. All right. So I use about three-fourths of this chicken. So I guess it's about a pound and a half of the chicken breast that I have in here. And... Before I add in my cream-based mixture, I'm going to let this simmer for a few seconds here. But I want to show you guys how it. Looks. I want to show you guys how it's looking. You hear that sizzle? It's a happy sizzle. And I'm getting ready to add in the gravy mixture, like I said, into this. All that goodness is going to go in there. So I'm going to put you guys back so you can see it. All right. 
Now, make sure you get every drop. Now, this here gravy mixture is going to thicken up fast because of the heavy cream that's mixed in with it. Now, if it gets too thick, just add a little water, but just add a little at a time. Don't add a lot of water in it because you want that thick consistency, but not too thick consistency for your, um, the mixture, the pot pie, the chicken mixture. So I think this is going to be very good. And once it goes into the oven and it has that top crust over it, it's going to cook up very good. It's really going to come together. Now I am going to add, um, I already put a lot of my seasonings in my gravy mixture, but I'm going to add a little bit more garlic. A little bit more garlic powder. I like garlic, um, but I don't like it in the way wearing that it's going to overpower your recipe. That's not good. So you just do a little bit at a time, like I always said. Putting a little bit of more onion powder in here. Now I'm not going to add adobo into this because of the um, the soup has sodium in it already. You can get low sodium soup if you want, or you can use chicken broth and make your own gravy with the chicken broth and some flour and a little bit of the um, heavy cream to give it like a creamy texture and color. You can do that. But this today I wanted to do something fast. So this is looking good and smelling good. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna let this, you know, cook up for a little bit more. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to assemble the pie to get ready to put it in the oven. But before I say that, don't forget, I forgot. You gotta turn your oven on to 425. We should have did this. I should have did this at the beginning of the recipe here, but I forgot. So don't forget to do that because you want your oven to be nice and hot when you put your pie in there. So just stay tuned. I will be right back to show you the assembling of the pie. All right, and we're back. And I went ahead and I filled, <clears throat> excuse me, I filled the pie shell with the mixture, the chicken mixture. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. And I did have to add a little bit of water to my, um, to the uh, mixture here because it was just a little bit too thick so um, so it's looking like that and I'm going to go ahead and put this other pie shell on top of here so let me do that my oven is on so we're doing that putting the pie shell the top crust now if you want to like I said, you can make homemade pie crust. And um, I never, like I said, I never made um, pot pie like this before. One time I made a pot pie, but I made it with biscuits over top. Like I think I put like homemade biscuits over top of it, cut them out small. And um, it was delicious like that too. Now here, when this is done, I am going to put, I beat up an egg, all right? And I'm going to brush an egg, a beaten egg over top of the uh, shell here because it's going to make it nice and pretty and brown color. And once this is done, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and I'm going to show you how you can have chicken pot pie a la mode without the ice cream of course it's going to be with mashed potatoes that's different it's a comfort food so you're getting two types of comfort foods today the chicken pot pie and the mashed potatoes now right now I am fluting up the edges of this pie crust I want to show you um, once I'm done here I don't know if any of you guys watch baseball, but here in this area, this is Philly's territory, okay? <laughs> if you live in Jersey, 
Philly, Delaware, you basically you like the Philadelphia Phillies, especially now. Since they're playing game two tonight, this is Saturday, tonight is game two of the World Series. So we pray that they will win. Alrighty, so let me show you guys how it looks. I flewed up the edges of the pie. And that's how it's looking. All right. Try to center it here for you guys. There you go. I flewed up the edges. And now I'm going to take my beaten egg. And I'm going to brush it over the pie crust here. And you see that our oven is saying that it's ready. So I'm just taking some of this here egg mixture and just brushing it across. I'm going to brush the edges. And also, just like you're making an uh, apple pie, and you know how you cut a little slit on the top of your pie, you want to do the same thing for the pot pie here, the chicken pot pie. The same comes concept, excuse me. All right, and that's about done. Now when you put this in your oven, 425, like I said, for about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, and if you see that your edges of your pie crust are starting to brown before the pie is really done, then what you're going to do is you're going to take some foil, <clears throat> and you're going to put foil. You want to take your pie out, you're going to take foil and put foil around the edges here of your pie. The fluted area will be covered with the foil. <clears throat> so now I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to cut slits here on the top of my pie so that steam can escape from it. Let me show you guys how I did that. If you can see, I did three. One, two, three. All right. Like I said, we're going to put this in the oven 425 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Keep an eye on it though. We'll be back and I'm going to show you the final presentation of how everything is looking. So stay tuned. Okay, and we're back, and I want to show you guys the final presentation of today's dish, homemade chicken pot pie. But before I do, I want to ask you guys something. If you can do me a favor, if you can just, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Cooking with Alethea, and tell some people that, you know, hey, Cooking with Alethea is on. I make dishes that, you know, I do try to do healthy dishes, incorporate healthy dishes into our everyday lifestyle. So um, subscribe to my channel, Cooking with Alethea, and I will see you next time on this channel. So I'm getting ready to show you guys the final presentation. All right, and here's the final presentation of today's menu. Homemade chicken pot pie. And we have some mashed potatoes next to it. That is very yummy and filling and satisfying on our chilly, cool fall nights or days. This dish is also good to have for your upcoming holiday events too. All right, so there you have it. Cooking with Alethea. All right, I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.